Hello guys, welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles's Life. Oh yeah. <laughs> so today guys, we're going to talk about the movie. I most recently saw this movie on Netflix. I kept seeing people talk about it on social media and I said, you know what? I'm going to take time to go see this movie. Um, you know, I hadn't watched the movie since the platform, um, on Netflix, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna check this out. So, The Order, uh, a movie that deals with immortals. Sounds kind of interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like, could you just imagine humans not dying and being immortal? But, one thing I loved about this film, let me just talk about it, the story. Um, the lady, Andy is the main character, Andy's a woman. Played by Charlene. I can't think of her last name. She's the African actor, uh, Caucasian actor. Um, but she's played in Mighty Joe Young. She's played in a couple other movies I've seen. Um, but she plays Andy, this immortal of the Order. And what the Order is, these people have been around for centuries. Literally, for centuries. Um, and the thing about Andy, Andy's the oldest. Out of all the immortals, she's the oldest one. So pretty much she's been around for a long, long, long time. <laughs> but with Andy being the immortals, then you come across the other immortals that are under Andy. You know, there are three guys. But then on top of that, um, there's another immortal that they do not know about. Um, and what I liked about this film is the immortals, they, they didn't necessarily agree with one another. You know what I'm saying? Each immortal had their own personal views on being immortal. Um, and some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. But what we saw with this film, literally, uh, the immortals kind of having issues with one another. Um, Andy kind of being the head honcho, the big cheese. She was the oldest. Um, the other immortals were like after her pretty much. And like I said, they've been around for many years. Um, but the problem was, um, one of the immortals was the villain. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much book was like, look, I'm tired of being immortal. He like, I ain't seen my loved ones die and, and, and them being envious of me because I, I live forever. You know what I'm saying? I see all these people that were my loved ones. They're dying on me. But the thrill about this movie that was very interesting, which I thought, like, Netflix, y'all are really pulling this out the out thin air, literally. Um, Andy had a, a nasty effect. Her being the one that lived the longest, um, Andy had issues. Uh, and what do I mean by issues? She starts to become hu more human-like. The more you live, the more you start to become more, more human-like. Like, when it comes to somebody shooting a bullet at you... Or somebody stabbing you. And I was like, dang, I, I never thought I, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking like, man, this is about to be like, I was saying to myself, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because people kept talking about it. I'm like, hell, do I want to see this? But then I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. Because Andy, she's lived longer. She starts to become not a god, but, but human. And I thought that was really neat. And we also see there's another immortal that is a part of the group. Um, and what I, what I loved about it is they kind of left it like in a mysteriousness for it. Um, the last immortal was another woman, <laughs> like Andy was, and she did not want to be an immortal. She like, look, I love my family. I love my friends. She had to leave her job, uh, you know, for being, she was, I want to say she's in the army. She's in the army or either the Marines and she had to leave her job behind to be an immortal. And you can see the struggles with it because Andy, like, look, this is your destiny. You're meant to be an immortal. And she, like, no, I don't want to be a part of this. And also religion played a factor in the film where we see the newest immortal, like, look, I'm going to still stick to my religious beliefs. And Andy, like, you sure about that when you're God yourself? I was like, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was neat that they did talk about that. And Andy was like, yeah, you're praying and all this stuff. It's pretty useless. <laughs> Andy is like very, I love Andy's character in this film. She's very realistic. Um, the villains in this film were interesting. We had Merith. Merith or Merith? Oh, gosh. 
Uh, he was obsessed with science. He was the science type of villain. Uh, and what it was, he wanted to use the Immortals DNA to make them li humans live longer. Um, he felt like certain illnesses and diseases, if they used the Immortals DNA and, 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 and did them like guinea pigs, I was like, bruh, like this villain is kind of a little bit jaded and he's self-absorbed. He was like, yeah, bring the immortals here, you know. <laughs> but we also see the ultimate betrayal. This was a plot twist. Book, one of the other immortals has seen his son lose his mind over his dad being an immortal. Book betrayed the immortals. <laughs> he said, screw Andy. I guess he was tired of living that life. And Andy was like, why? Why did you do it? He's like, uh, look. It, and being immortal is great and all, but seeing all my loved ones die and the people I cared about... This is why I did it. And it made absolute sense. You couldn't even be mad at you couldn't even be mad at Book. I was like, okay, Book. Um, you know what? First, I'm like, you traitor. How dare you? <laughs> but then I started to understand, said, okay, I can understand Book's logic, man. Book, like, look, I lost my family. I lost my loved ones. I lost my friends. They don't, they're no longer here. Living this life, being immortal is not all this cracked up to be. And you can see the frustration and the tension between her and Andy. Well, Andy and, and Book, excuse me, Book is the other character that turns out to be a traitor amongst the immortals. We see them argue back and forth. But one thing I did like about Book, even though he wasn't such a douchebag, he's not the main villain. He's like the he's like the mini villain, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we see Book still wanting to help the immortals. Despite him being a traitor, the other one's calling him a traitor and stuff. We see that Book empathize with the other immortals but also i love like the special effects they did with this <laughs> like i am not gonna tell you this guys but i'm gonna just say this if you ain't into bone cracking and, and hand defiguration and all that stuff cgi was lit baby for this movie i'm like netflix i see y'all out here fam you know what i'm saying so i was like okay i like the visuals for it um it's pretty bloody Love the choreography for it. It looked very realistic. I, I like when they, the choreography is on point with the movie. You know how sometimes you'll watch a movie and you're just like, this choreography is lacking somewhere in this movie. <laughs> but also, um, the ending. We see Book kind of depart from the other immortals. Um, and I love that the newest immortal, which is the, the, young, the youngest one, comes to the rescue of the old immortals. But let me get back into Book leaving. Book, I think he felt like if he would have stayed, he could he literally would have, they never still would have trusted him. You know what I'm saying? Once he kind of stabbed them in the back and, and, and worked with the enemy, they're like, we'll never trust you again. So you can understand why Book left. <laughs> Book killed off Merith and, you know what I'm saying, and his men, all his soldiers and stuff. Um, I thought that was neat. Uh, the music was pretty interesting. Uh, you know, man, I, I, we're starting to see a little bit more of Frank Ocean in people's in movies now. Like, even in this movie, they had a Frank a Ocean song. I think it was Godspeed. Um, I, I, it's probably a decent soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? The girl was playing that. Um, but like I said, the movie was interesting. It's Ashen Pats. Um, they left it open for a possible sequel. Um, and I love the ending. Uh, we see Book having issues now. He's no longer immortal. I, I was like, Hmm, ain't that somehow karma turn around? Book is no longer immortal. Um, but then here's the other problem. Uh, we see Andy's former friend that they supposedly was dead <laughs> show up to Book's crib, and, and Book is looking kind of shot like, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? And it ends. I, I, I like the movie. It's action packed, had a decent story. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, and I didn't get bored with it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this was definitely decent. And I'll give this movie a 4 out of 5, man. I I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about the Immortals, like maybe in the next movie. I'm like, Netflix, nah, don't do not do me like this, Netflix. Please release this next movie for it. Um, And I'm looking forward to see how the other Immortal escaped. <laughs> she was literally inside the ocean, inside this maiden item. I Maiden, Iron Maiden thing, and I'm just like, 
how on earth did she escape? And who found her? You know what I'm saying? So it's an SM guys, your boy, Professor Charles is live. Have a wonderful day and hit that like and that sub button. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. I hope you enjoyed my movie review. Until next time, guys, moment time. <laughs>